Hi, my name is Mark Bailey. I'm an application engineer here at Agilent Technologies. And today we'd like to talk about um, rotation, speed of rotation, how you measure that. Uh, speed of rotation in things like motors, fans, uh, engine speed, maybe even um, the rotation of wheels in an ABS or an assisted braking system. So first let me talk about the sensors that are used. Uh, one of the most common ones is a variable reluctance uh, sensor or a VRS. Essentially this is just a small coil wound inside of here and this is set up against a, a ferrous um, rotating uh, plate, maybe a cog wheel on a car or something like that and as the, as the magnetic thing passes it'll actually induce a little pulse inside the coil which is then you can measure it. Now the problem is the faster you go the bigger the pulse and the more narrow the pulse and sometimes that can be a problem. Sometimes you have to amplify it because they're very small other times it may get so big that you actually have to clamp it. But it's a very common, uh, common sensor. It's used a lot in ABS systems like I'm showing here on the computer where the wheel's rotating, there's these cogs in this, uh, in this plate, and the sensor is picking that up and sending it to the control module and deciding what it needs to do with each wheel as you're trying to brake. Okay, a second uh, kind of sensor for, for RPM is something called an optical sensor. And if you think of a light beam, and as the light beam gets broken, it's uh, sending out a pulse each time that that happens. Now, it's not always a light beam. Sometimes uh, they actually use infrared uh, sensors and infrared uh, senders. To, uh, to, and that, and that, that signal gets broken. Uh, the third kind, and actually much more popular nowadays, is the Hall effect sensor. A Hall effect sensor also is, uh, works on magnetic induction, but instead of having a variable amplitude, it's fixed at whatever the voltage is across the Hall, um, Hall effect sensor. So that's a, a real plus for it. So I'd like to show you this in practice. What I've got on the little circuit board here is a motor it runs off at 12 volts, so I've got plus, uh, plus 12 and ground. And then there's a third line, this yellow line coming off, that's actually a little output uh, that sends a pulse based on the, um, the rotational speed of the, mo of the motor. So let me show you that on the scope to show you what I'm talking about. So when I turn it on, we see a series of pulses on the scope. And if I slow the fan down a little bit, don't try this at home, by the way, but I'm going to put my finger in here and actually slow it down a little bit and you can see that the pulses slow down and so forth. Okay, that's great, and in fact we could measure it in this, the scope saying it's around 135, 140 hertz or cycles per second, pulses per second. That's great, but it's not RPM. So what I'm going to use instead is the Agilent 34972 here to measure, the, um, measure that pulse, and we're going to turn it into RPM. So first I have to set up my measurement. I'm going to turn the channel on. I can measure temperature, or AC volts, DC volts, a bunch of stuff. Finally, I get to frequency. Well, that's what I want. So I'm going to measure frequency. Uh, rather than being on auto range, I'm going to set it to like a 10 volt range. I'm going to go to four and a half digits. And it's done. And sure enough, I'm measuring frequency. It's saying 139 hertz, or 139 cycles per second. Well, that's great, but it's not RPM. So what I need to do is scale. I'm going to come in here to MX plus B which is a scaling. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to set the gain. Uh, and the gain is, I want to set it to 60, since it's 60, uh, 60 per second, or 60 per minute. Oops, went over Lord. There we go. Um, then there's no offset that I want to enter. I can put in a label, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually change this to say uh, R P M. Okay, so RPM. Done. So now it's measuring and it says it's 8,400 8, RPM. Well, that's great, except the motor is actually supposed to be running at about 4,200 RPM, according to the spec sheet. So it's going twice as fast. Well, what that makes me realize is that actually it puts out two pulses for every rotation of the fan. So what I need to do is go back and change my gain. I'm going to set the gain again. Um, In this case, I want to now set it, instead of the 60 that I had, I want to set it as 30, and everything else should be the same. Just leave the label. And sure enough, now it's reading uh, 4200 RPM, which is what it ought to be reading. Okay, so we've talked about uh, measuring the speed of rotation. We've talked about the sensors. 
we've talked about how you can use the scaling factors on the 34972 to actually convert it over to a, a, a measure that we understand of 4200 RPM. So I hope this has been informative to you and shown you how simple it is to, uh, to set up and measure RPM. I uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks.